Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to our next video of Test Project course. And in this video, we'll be talking about record and playback in iPhone X physical device with Test Project. All right, so let's get started. All right, so now I'm in my Test Project portal and then I'm gonna go all the way to my Exit Automation Test Project, which we have been working so long in our course. And as you can see, I showed you how we can run a simple test, an iOS test, using this particular test in our previous video. But this time, we're gonna create a super simple record and playback by creating a new test as we did in our Android operating system. So I'm gonna click the new test here, and then I'm gonna select the mobile test as we did before for Android as well. And then I'm gonna hit next, and this will ask me what's the name of my test. So I'm just gonna choose a test name as test gaspy. So this is an application in New Zealand, which is kind of popular. So I'm just gonna see if I could able to test this particular application. So this is the first time I'm gonna test. I have never even tested before. So I'm just gonna run that test and see if it really works. So I'm just gonna select the platform as iOS this time. And as you can see, still it is tagged as experimental. So if you see some kind of issues, again, it is kind of okay, at least for now. So I'm gonna choose the mobile application here. Uh, if I click this, you can see it is gonna load all the applications I got, at least for the iOS device. So I have already tested the YouTube application as we saw in our previous video, and that's why it is showing only that application, which is of iOS operating system type. So it is not actually showing me all the applications which we tested for the Android here. Rather, it is choosing the exact platform that I used to test the other application of iOS. So this is the one application which I tested in my previous video. So this time we're gonna choose a new application. So I'm gonna hit this add a new application for testing. And then I'm gonna select the connected device. So the connected device I got is my iPhone device. So once I click this, it's gonna show Karthik's iPhone. This is my iPhone, so I need to select that. And then it's gonna ask me the bundle of the applications I got within my device. So once I click this, once again, Test Project is much intelligent enough to query all the installed application within my device. So you can see it is bringing all the device that I got. And I'm gonna search the application GasPay. That's really, really cool. So I can choose that from here, and then I can hit Finish. So you can see, less than a couple of seconds, I could able to choose my application, and then I can start recording as much like how I did with the Android application. So the experience of running the test on both Android as well as iOS is pretty much similar, even though they are completely two different ecosystems, two different platforms, but the test recording for a manual test engineer who's gonna design the automation test cases is gonna be much unified, and they can do pretty much exactly how they did with the Android. So you can see that it is really, really cool. I really like the fact that it's really much better than any other tool I have seen so far. And now, since this is going to be the first time application, it is going to ask me whether you need to do a reset application uh, to remove the cache data. So I'm going to hit yes. And you can see that it is currently loading things for me. It's much faster. I could see it's really, really faster than Android. And now the application is over here. And then I'm going to start doing a recording. So as I said before, this is a popular New Zealand's application, which we use for checking the gas prices for gas stations that we got. So I'm just gonna choose a gas station which is pretty much near my home. So you can see once I go over here, once I highlight that, it's just bringing me things so I can just start typing the value there. So you can see it automatically, once I start typing, it automatically brings this, the text box for me and then I can enter the value as Glenfield and then I'm gonna hit OK. So you can see that it should type a value for me over there as Glenfield. But the problem that it got to type a value on that particular text box is because you need to have your default keyboard as Apple keyboard, rather the Google's keyboard. So I just changed the keyboard from Google to Apple. So now if I want to run this particular step and see if it really works, so I can just run from here I'm just going to execute this. Let's see if it's going to enter a value into the location search text box. And you can see that the keyboard just appeared. 
and then it should type the value Glenfield into that particular search box for me. There you go. It just typed and the step got passed. So this is how you can do a very, very super simple recording over here. And now let's also do this click because I need to click this particular value, the Glenn field, so that it can search. So I'm just going to click that over there. Oops, it seems like the application got crashed, but it did click the, the value over there. It seems like something has got wrong over there. So let me try to run this test and see if it really works. So basically, it's nothing to do with test project, I guess, but for some reason, the Gaspay application has stopped responding. So I have executed the test now. So it should search for the value and then it should click for the Glenn field, which I just searched. There we go. It searched for the value and then it should click the Glenn field for me. Yep, it did click it and it seems like the test got passed. That's really cool. So it seems like things are working. So this is how you can do a very, very super simple recurrent playback with this project. So I just chose a random application like Gaspy, but you can also choose the YouTube or any application within the iOS device and you can do a super simple recording and run the test using the record and playback option. And once again, I have not did a lot of recording here, just two steps here, but still it proves the point that you can still do a record and playback with test project even in the iOS device as much like how we did in the Android application. In our next video, we'll see how we can work with different kinds of application locators with the iOS device and we'll understand how things work. So for that, stay tuned for our next video. Thank you.